I'm Mahmoud Ibrahim, and I'm a proud New York City street food vendor. We have five open carts. We also have a 20-foot uh, food truck. Everything was moving very nice. All up until the pandemic, COVID-19, everything got shut down. There's nobody left in the street. Right now, we're really, really struggling to even just make ends meet. It's sad, you know? It's incredibly important to support street vendors because they are the smallest businesses in New York City. When the city closed down, their business was going down 70, 80, 90 percent. The Street Vendor Project, we are partnering with the Stavros Niarcos Foundation and Councilwoman Gibson to hire street vendors to make healthy, nutritious meals that we're then distributing to neighborhoods that are food insecure. Without the Stavros Niarcos Foundation, it wouldn't be possible. At the beginning of the pandemic, the Stavros Niarcos Foundation announced a $100 million COVID relief initiative. The biggest priority was to get support out to groups that were working on the ground in their communities with the most marginalized parts of those communities. And I can't think of a group that's more community-based and people-powered than Street Vendor Project. The COVID-19 pandemic has really hit the Bronx very hard, and particularly communities of color and immigrant communities. So by having these events, we provide a lot of relief for families in need. This food distribution program is really a holistic way to support street vendors having some income and being able to get back on their feet, as well as supporting neighborhoods where folks are facing a lot of food insecurity throughout the pandemic. I think it's a wonderful project. It's a way to give back to the community. I love giving back. That's the best part of it for me. And it helps us out, so I'm very appreciative for it. Street vendors are a critical part of New York City. And without street vendors, New York wouldn't be New York. But they need the support in order to be able to stay here. Getting through this pandemic isn't going to be done on an individual basis. It's going to be done by neighbors helping neighbors and communities helping communities.